Hey guys, um, today I'll be doing another deck profile, and today I'll be doing my Dino Rabbit deck. Um, it's actually an okay deck. Sadly, with Rescue Rabbit at one, the deck is a little bit inconsistent. But there, I kind of slipped in some pendulums to help it help it, you know, get more and more consistent. Hopefully, um, if you guys recall, I've mean, used this deck in a few of the dual videos on the channel. If you want to check those out, or you got one in the description in the description below but anyways uh let's get on with the deck profile so obviously uh one rescue rabbit um basically your main guy of the deck <laughs> the deck um sadly i wish this thing this thing's hopefully gets pushed up to two and the next ban list hopefully because i would that would just help this deck a bunch with consistency and just in general um i heard in the ocg it's at three so why the hell would, like, come on, Konami, get it to three here in the TCG? <laughs> but anyway, um, and, and, um, if you guys don't know his effect, um, when you normal summon it, you can banish it to special summon two of level four or lower normal monsters from your deck, um, with the same name. So, this is basically the main way of getting your evil czars out, uh, Log and Doka. Um, so yeah, this guy's basically the main piece to the, pu main piece to the puzzle in this deck. Um, next, three Sabersaurus, um, one of the mo one of the normal monsters in the deck for the for the Rescue Rabbit play. Um, the reason I run him is because just high attack. He's at nineteen hundred attack, so it's really good at. Um, like if I just want to, if I have in my hand, I can just normal summon it, and he's just nineteen hundred beater right off the bat, which is actually really okay. Um, but most of the time, you don't want to see this in your hand. You want to see this in your deck, just in case you draw the rest, grab it. Or if you have it in your hand, you have the pendulum set up, which I'll get into later, then you'll be fine. Uh, next, with the second normal monster, uh, three Yurubi. Um, This guy, <laughs> I don't have the 1700 attack dinosaur, but frankly, I don't really... Um, Mind that, I I like this guy, he's actually my favorite normal dinosaur type monster ever, because this is like the first ever dinosaur I ever got back when I first started playing, which so I kind of have like an emotion, like, kind of like a bias towards it or something, in a weird way, I don't know how you could say it, but anyway, he's just 1500, one of the, I mostly go into him when I, when I go in for the Loggy or Doka play, given the fact because he's 1500 attack, you don't want to really see him on the field very long. So, yeah. Uh, next, so that's it for the normal monsters, really. But next, uh, one Gilosaurus. This is an okay opening hand card. Um, basically, you can special summon it from your hand. The only downside is, um, if there's monsters in your opponent's graveyard, they can special summon any monster they want, which is the big downside to this card. Which is why I recommend only having one and only and hopefully only using the effect for um, uh, your opening play because it'd be great um, it's just good to get a monster out in the field and also if you have another level 3 in your hand you can get, get into a rank 3 play uh, next uh, one Black Brachius um, this is an okay card um, but uh, basically when he's normal summoned you can target one monster in the field and change it to uh, defense position not face down just face up so pretty good at just changing the battle position of a monster to just make it easier to run over um, for your um, X Y your rank fours or for any dinosaurs you have on the field right now. So yeah, pretty good card. Next, uh, one Hyper Hammerhead. Hyper Hammerhead's really good at just getting rid of. It's kind of just like he's kind of like the uh, Neo Spatian Grand Mall the deck. Uh, just but basically um, when he attacks a monster and the monster's still in the field. Uh, it goes back to the opponent's hand. So if there's a big extra deck monster on the field, um, you just attack into it. Or they, if you have this face down, they attack into it. Then it goes back to their hand, which is uh, which is like really good. Um, so yeah. Uh, next, have a one ghost ogre. The ghost ogre is just there, just for um, counter countering effects. Um, sadly, don't have. Sadly, when I get into the extra deck, you'll see I don't have any synchros. Uh, or else I would would use it as a synchro play because there's some good level sevens you can do with it. But I'll get into that later, on why I don't have any singles at the moment. But yeah, 
got pretty good card at getting uh, countering effects. And uh, now onto my pen, one of my pendulums. Uh, one, what's the name? Dragoons of Draconia. This guy is really good at just his pendulum effect is when you want some when a normal monster uh, we I control um, destroys opponent's monster by battle. You can add a level four or higher normal monster for your deck to your hand. So this is good at um, getting other normal monsters to your hand to help pendulum some of them out to get into another rank, get into a rank four play, or just and it just helps the consistency of the deck. Um, another pendulum, uh, two samurai cavalry a reptier. This guy's good. Um, he has no pendulum effects, sadly, but his monster effects is actually pretty okay because um, when he attacks a monster and they're not a pendulum monster, um, you can just destroy off the bat. So this is going to just instant removal of a monster that's big on the field, so it helps get rid of it. Uh, my last pendulum monster um, is three Lance of um, This guy has a pendulum effect um, if a normal monster attacks a defense position monster, um, you inflict piercing damage, so an okay effect, um, just good at getting light points off the opponent. Um, he also has a level 6, and it helps get into Solda, there's a lo I got another level 6, which I'm about to talk to you talk about right now, and that is Dark Triceratops. Um, he also just has piercing damage, that's his effect. Um, but anyway, with him, I usually go into a rank 6 play with him and Lancer Ferencus if I pendulum summon both out. So I would go into a sold um, or a, uh, another card, which I'll talk about later. So yeah, just there for the rank 6 play. Uh, next, for uh, another one of uh, Black Tyranno. Can't pendulum summon him out, but, is, um, but he's good at getting if I want a tribute summon. If I ever do want to. Um... Uh, he and, all, and his effect is if your opponent only controls the defense position monsters, uh, he can attack your opponent directly, which is actually pretty okay if your mo if your opponent just wants to be on the defense and doesn't have any back row. So yeah, the only reason, but yeah, if once the yeah, reminder, um, you can only get this effect off if they have no back row and their only cards in the field is a defense position monsters. So be wary of that. Uh, next. One Superconductor Tyranno, um, same thing as Black, just for tribute plays if I ever wanted to do that. Also as effective, I can tribute one monster and inflict a thousand damage to the opponent. The only downside is he can't attack the, the moment I use this. Um, and the last monster is S Super Ancient Dino Beast. This is actually a really good card and also it kind of combos well with Gilasaurus. Um, if you had him in the hand and have him and Gilosaurus in your opening hand, you can special summon it. Special summon on Gilosaurus and then tribute him off with Super Asian Dynamis. Um, Super Asian Dynamis only needs one dinosaur type to tribute for to get him out in the field, which is awesome. And also when a dinosaur type monster is special summoned from the graveyard, you can draw a card, which is actually really nice. It helps with consistency and draw power. Uh, next, onto the spells. Three Fossil Dig. Main Searcher, pretty much the main searcher of the deck. Um, add one level six or lower dinosaur type monster from your deck to your hand. Kind of like a ro kind of like the rota of the deck. Pretty standard. Um, pre uh, always run at three with this to help get your dinosaurs to your hand fast. And next, uh, three mystical space typhoon. Um, I don't want to do twin twister because this thing does uh, most most of the cards I do not want in the graveyard so in the back row is a kill it kills this deck a lot so a three mystical space space typhoon is a must in this deck um next my forbidden uh forbidden dress and forbidden chalice uh these uh just good at f effing with the opponent uh, or and saving your your um, monsters. So like I'll use this probably on if your monster is about to get destroyed by a card effect, I uh, use this on it. It saves it. And this, uh, if there's a big monster on the field, it's a big, if there's a monster on your opponent's field that has an attack, is has a really good effect. You can just use this on it. Sure, its attack goes up, but at least the effect that it was about to screw you up is negated. Um, now onto the traps. One solemn warning, pretty standard. This negate special summons, one compulse, just uh, just gets stuff back to the hand. One ring of destruction, 
Um, I would swap this out if I had another, if I had a Swamp Strike on me, but I don't have one, so I would have to just use this. Um, I know it's not the same card, but just for destruction and hopes with what, like, like burn damage and stuff like that. Um, one Seismic Shockwave. This is an interesting card, and I thought, why not tech in? Basically, when you activate it, your opponent can't use three of his or her spell and trap card zones. It's kind of meh, honestly. Um, and uh, if after like the third standby phase it's destroyed, then you can return a dinosaur type monster from your graveyard to your hand. So it's kind of good, but you have to wait, and it's pretty slow to pull off, sadly. But it's actually a pretty interesting card, and if you ever get around to use it, um, it's actually pretty okay when you get it off and have it um, work. Next, three Black Horn of Heaven. I would drop this down to one, or yeah, probably down to one if I had another Solemn Strike. If again, if I had a Solemn Strike, or if I had a Grand Horn of Heaven, those do pretty much better jobs at getting special summons. But yeah, um, the only problem with this is the chaining part. It has to be only one. Can't be a Pendulum Summon. Can't be a one-off of effect, which is sad. But if they, if you're facing a deck that does a lot of special summon from the extra deck, this thing does a lot of work, which is nice. But I'm probably going to drop this down to maybe one or two, maybe well, most likely one if I get some better traps um, down the line. Uh, next, one bottomless, pretty standard, and then round things off. Uh, two mirror forces. I would probably change these uh these two probably like to a storming or a drowning maybe quaking most likely just one of those three nothing against this it's great but those uh quaking drowning and storming are pretty much better at getting rid of stuff so yeah that's the main deck now on to the extra deck so first off one evil sarsolda um use this for the dark triceratops and lens of Ferenca's play uh, if you haven't seen my evil deck profile, basically this guy, um, you detach one, you can, if their opponent, like, um, special summons a monster, a monster or monsters, so you can detach one, destroy them, and also you cannot be destroyed by card effects when he has XYZ material, so this guy's good at just sitting there, and he's a 2600 beater. Um, I usually only, again, uses, only use this effect once, because I don't want to, because I like it when he doesn't get destroyed by card effects. It makes me feel safe when I'm going in for game. Uh, next, three Evil Zardoka. Basically, one of the best cards in the deck, honestly, for any dinosaur deck. Um, if you're making a dinosaur deck, you have to have this in there. Um, but to me, anyway. You, uh, you can do whatever you want. You guys can do whatever you want. But to me, you, um, my personal opinion, you should have him and Wagia. Um, anyway, if you guys don't know Doka, um, basically, he's a Psalm, walk and Psalm Strike and it's not once per turn which is awesome so you could just use his effect twice so when a monster effect activates you just detach one negate destroy and next the other card out i say you should always have is three evils are logia basically some judgment uh when a spell or trap activates or a normal or a monster is no more special summoned detach two and negate destroy it um so great removal uh and just an all-around awesome card uh, the other rank six I run don't really go into it much. Um, number twenty four, Jagulus, the Vampiric Dragon. It's an okay card. I don't go into it much. I might switch it out when I get other rank fours uh, or get a few synchros for the tuner, uh, Ghost Ogre, for now. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, but he's okay. Um, his effect is a bit tricky. Uh, um, when uh, you can like target. Uh, special summoned extra deck monster and change it to face down defense position and if he was to be sent to the graveyard or banished by your opponent's card effect you can special summon face down defense position um, and if he's face up send one card to the field of the graveyard so he's okay um, but I don't get him too much sadly but when I do he's actually really good um, next uh, one castell pretty standard pretty, uh, pretty much staple in the XYZ deck um one honor arc one of my favorites uh 
rank, one of my favorite rank fours, and I'm um, pretty good at getting special summon monsters out of the way. And lastly, one Grenosaurus for any, if I was gonna uh, overlay um, Ghost Ogre and uh, Gila Saurus together. So yeah, um, that was the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, leave uh, leave them down in the comment section below. Um, also leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in all in the next video. Have a nice day.